Please welcome back to We Love and Hope and again, this is your lovely host, Lenard. From our last vlog, I was able to discuss to you guys some tips and advice on how you can sort out your journey as a chronic illness um, patient or autoimmune disease patient. So if you haven't watched it, you may see the link below. I have linked it there and so that you can review that old video. In the last video, I talked to you that I will be discussing today the guilt and how a chronically ill patient can cope up with her guilt. As a chronically ill patient, there's a lot of things that we can um, be thinking and be guilty about because uh, there are a lot of restrictions, prohibited activities, and things that we need to avoid. And sometimes these things are making us annoyed, irritable, and sometimes angry of our own self because we don't like the feeling of being restricted. If you are someone that has been diagnosed with chronic illness or autoimmune disease for a long time already, you may know some ways on how to cope up. Please share those below so that um, other patients can also relate and apply your strategy. But today I'll be discussing some facts and only a few ways to cope up. So let me just begin on that one. Number one guilt is actually seeking help or assistance from someone else in the family or from friends or to the people that are close to me. I use I used to be so independent by myself. I can do the things that are usually uh, done by a couple of people or sometimes uh, I will be doing some activities that will make me so active as a citizen. But yet, um, when I got sick and especially on player moments or player times, uh, I would seek assistance and help from other people. And sometimes those moments of of seeking assistance actually makes me feel like i am a burden or becoming a burden to my own family or to someone else that is close to me and also uh, someone that is um related to me and i don't like feeling like a burden lastly one of the guilt that i have in my mind and and actually, it's not just me who made this, uh, who made me feel this, but because there are some people that um, contributed to this guilt. Guilt is like, is the it is the feeling that you're sick because it's your fault. Some people, uh, I, I just heard this um, from other people from somewhere else i don't know if you have experienced it um some people have told me maybe you have done something so wrong that the god get, cannot forgive you from it that's why he gave you sickness and to make you suffer and realize what is that fault or what is that true on the other hand there are some people or family members or some friends telling me that Oh, maybe you didn't take care of yourself. You ate a lot of uh, bad things that are not healthy. That's why you are sick. Which is in a chronically ill patient that is for a long time already. This is not a joke or this is not the topic for them. Because um, we have been doing a lot of effort to take care of ourselves. From our diet, from our daily lifestyle. It's just that the sickness is within our our blood and it's in our genetics that we cannot even explain even the scientists or the people that it's working in a science science field cannot explain it yet too so that's one of of the guilt uh, that is coming from other people that contributes to our guilt it feels like it's our fault being sick because we haven't taken care of ourselves so those are the type of guilt that I don't want to take emphasis on anymore because there are still a lot of things that we maybe feel so guilty about like maybe sometimes you don't feel so good and you have to stay in bed 
even though your your body is just asking you to respect rest and make your body feel energized and recover from from the tiredness or exhaustion that it felt so let me now tackle to you guys how can you cope up with this guilt for the first uh, thing that I have discussed earlier is being a burden to your family it I know this is kind of touchy uh, topic for some people but I think uh, it is very important that you discuss your value and your feeling towards being a burden that, or a feeling that you are a burden to your own family or to your close ones. Uh, for me, this is the hardest part sometimes. It's more the emotional one, especially when, I, when my sibling would ask me something and I cannot help them with that. I would feel um, so sorry for myself because I can do it before but now I cannot do it I usually say sorry for that and my siblings will tell me it's okay but inside me it's really heavy because I cannot help yet um, I also ask sorry at times that I am sorry because my my symptoms are like this that's why I cannot remember what you said can you repeat that for me and I would I would be sometimes telling them that I'd love to still function as normal as I can be can you bear with me because this is the the pacing that I can do it so explain your value and your feelings towards the family towards your your loved ones or towards your friends about what's going on because it's something that can actually free your free the elephant from your chest two is actually recognizing that bad things happen to people um during the time that i was in the diagnosis stage of my lupus i got suspended from work because uh, they haven't believed that the doctor changed the the days that I am I am in need of rest because she forgot to countersign it. Then on my end, I was like feeling bad because for me it's unacceptable because why you would suspend me from being sick? Yet on the day, um, I started to think that I have to accept the fact that bad things happen to people even getting sick is a bad thing but I have to accept that maybe I have to be going there and it's not I don't have any sin to suffer I don't have any karma to suffer but instead bad things just really happen and it really come and go I just have to be positive on that one very special thing that and very important thing that i have learned from daniela chronic illness cafe is that your illness is the burden you are not i know you are suffering the guilt of being a burden but it's not you that is causing the burden it's only your disease and you are still functioning you just have to remember that that your illness is the burden and you are not also you have to express your feelings towards the people and take ownership of the negativity that you felt and so that you can alleviate your feelings and and it can it can release down your emotions inside you so that the guilt will not be there it will not be sticking around and put you down or pull you down somewhere deeper on the negativity side and lastly the most thing that helped me out, out of this guilt is actually write all of my thoughts write all of my anxiety write all of my feelings in one journal where's my journal i want to show it you guys So here is my journal. 
I have written all of my feelings here. All of my pain and all of my anxiety. So if ever you cannot write because of your current health situation, you may also use in uh, in your phone the journal it um, and then you can just activate one of the functionality of journal it to to just do the slide thing and the words will be created on it if, if you really find it hard to do that guys so those that's our topic today so those are the ways on how you can cope up with your guilt number one is actually to express your value and your feelings of being a burden number two is recognize that bad things happen to people number three the very important one is that your illness is the burden you are not and then number four is to express to the people how you feel and take ownership of the negativity to alleviate your feelings and number five is to express your feelings through writing it your anxiety and your guilt and every emotions that you need to speak if you cannot speak it you can write it thank you so much for watching this video again this is leonard your lovely host telling you to keep leave love and hope bye bye